Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be doing a very quick tutorial of drawing feathers using feathers. So we're going to use the feathers themselves to do um, the actual drawing with using some ink. Now these ones I got from um, a craft supply shop quite a long time ago. I had them for doing floral art and things um, and I've got a big bag of them but they're mostly hem feathers so if you haven't got any feathers obviously you can just go out for a nice walk and see if you can find some because it doesn't really matter what bird you get them from or how big they are it was just a case of having a little bit of fun using them for some mark making. So I'll just pop those to one side and show you what we, you'll need for this. So I've got some Quink ink, you could use any ink you wanted, you could try it with some acrylic ink if that's what you've got or a more permanent ink. Obviously the Quink isn't light fast but it's good fun because of the way that the colours move. Um, so I like the Quink ink so I'm using that but you can use whichever ink you want as long as it's a dip in one. And if you haven't got any ink also don't worry because you could use um, some watercolours, you could make up some paint or you could make up some acrylic paint quite loosely and use the paint to do what you're drawing with so don't worry if you've not got any ink at all, you can use paint. Um, and just one brush I'm going to use, that's a synthetic round brush size 6 and obviously I need some water and then I've got my Sennelier travel set of some nice bright colours. And this paper that I'm using is the Dela Rowney one, it's a size A4 and it's £169 in weight so it's quite a good weight and it's a mixed media one. I've been using this quite a bit recently because it's lovely to draw on, it's a nice smooth surface. So you'll see the last thing I did in here was this autumn leaf, some of you may have seen that on Skillshare. If you haven't seen that tutorial I will link that down in the description below for those of you that want to pop over to Skillshare and see the full tutorial about painting and drawing autumn leaves and doing a bit of an observational study. So. Like I said, a really nice smooth paper is good for drawing on. I'm just going to check that that's in view of the camera, that's fine. So you might want to decant some of your ink into a smaller vessel, but I'm just going to use it straight from the pot. Now an important thing when you are working with ink is always have some tissue handy and have some water handy in case you need to have any spillages and messes and you need to clean it up quite quickly. So. These feathers you could do a really detailed drawing of them if you wanted to with all the patterns and colours that they've got on but we're keeping this very loose and abstract and just quite imaginary really and I'm picking up some of the colours. I like the colour of this one. You might not be able to see it but it's a very iridescent green. Um, I'm not sure if we can get the light to shine on and show the green but that's a lovely colour and then we've got this lovely coffee colour at the end of this one. So we just want to get the feeling of the feather and the fact that it's really light and fluffy. I'm not worrying too much about doing a detailed drawing but that could be another thing to do another time. So choose a feather that's got a nice point and that's nice and firm that you can get hold of and is a decent enough length to pop into your pot of ink. And you're going to get ink on all those extra little bits that are of fluff as well and you're going to, can you see you've got ink down there and those are going to touch the paper and you're going to make some really interesting shapes and get some movement with those. To begin with you might need to keep dipping that in the pot because obviously it's a very dry feather and it's not designed to take up ink in the way that your brushes are or your pens are. So this can take a while. And just build it up and try and get some movement in your feather. Try and make it rather than a stiff shape, try and make it move, curl and twist that spine. Vary the pressure on your feather. So I'm making the tip a bit rounder at the top there and then this end bit here is going to be a lot fluffy. With most of these feathers they seem to be fluffy part way up and then they turn into this much more defined shape at the end. So we'll just get a bit of that in. So you've got some control over your drawing but you haven't got the same control that you would have if you were just drawing with your pen. Which gives you this variety of lines so you've got different strengths of line you've got some thicker and some thinner and uh, that makes it an interesting picture it doesn't make it a static picture it makes it have that movement and 
fluffiness that you've got there with that feather. And you could go on and do a full series of these, you could do a full page of them. I just wanted to get it a little bit thicker at this point here. That's better. You could just do a full page of them, all different shapes and sizes and colours and make quite an interesting design. And you can use the side of the feather to move things out. Whoops. Thicken it up a bit if you wanted to. I've perhaps spoiled that a little bit, but on the other hand it gives it a bit of definition. So this is just plain, getting ideas together. Like I say, a full page of them would be nice. So once you've got some shape with your ink, now and this depends as well on which ink you're going to be using. Some move into the water when you start painting and others won't. Some you might want to leave to dry. With this quink, when it's wet, it changes colours and things. So I'm going to add some water to it whilst it's still wet. Like I said, this is just to give you an idea. You'll maybe want to do a lot more feathers or do a more accurate study. You might want to put some pencil guidelines on before you begin. So I'm just going to see if you can see that. I'll just move that along a little bit. Now, like I said, we have that lovely green colour, but plenty of water. You don't want it to be heavy. Um, it's a very light, fluffy object, and we want the feeling of the air coming through it. So you don't want a very solid colour. And the colour was only at the tip, up here. It didn't go all the way to the base. And I'm just teasing that ink a little bit and letting the paint mix in with that ink there. And don't forget once it's dry, if you want to do any more drawing, you can come on top of it. But you just want to be careful that you don't turn it into something much more formal and less abstract. This is quite impressionistic and abstract and it's you, got, you want to let the paint flow about. Not sure what colour to do it further down. Let's have another look at this little feather that I was taking the colours from. So here we've got that green and the, some of those blues are coming out of the ink and mixing with it which is giving us that. Here down here it's very sort of a light brown fluffy colour. Um, brown grey I would say. It's difficult to say. So let's do something nice and light to have a different colour to the one we've already got. So I'm going to put some brown. This is an umber I think but I'm going to keep it really light with plenty of water and I want to make it a bit warmer so I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow to that. Make it like a warm brown and like I said a bit more water. We really don't want it to be heavy. And some of the ink's drying and some of it's wet so you're going to get some lovely contrasts between these hard lines and some softer lines. And also the colours are going to vary throughout it where it's mixing with the ink and not mixing with the ink. And if you want you can do some drawing with your brush as well to get some extra fluffiness. But perhaps don't overdo that. Leave the drawing for your pen. Again here, use your wrist to flick these shapes up and just mindful about where it is very wet. So this ink here is very wet, so if I touch that now it might end up making some areas darker than I really want. So just be careful and cautious going around. One good way of when you're working with ink like this when it's wet, if you start your paint further away and then just gently touch it rather than starting this way and dragging the ink with you. And again, one or two little flicks, you're picking up some ink, you're picking up some paint, just making it a little bit more feathery. And let's give a bit more definition to where it turns from stalk into feather. Okay, and now I'm going to leave that, but that was just to give you an idea of where you could go with these materials and the fun that you could have making some feathery shapes because they're so fascinating. Um, this one with these dots you could use a resist, you could use masking fluid or you could use some wax to put the dots on the paper before you start. But really the main idea of this exercise is to have a go at making marks with the feathers themselves. Um, 
and having a bit of fun. You can even do some printing if you've got plenty of feathers and you're not bothered about spoiling them. You could cover the back with some paint and print. There's all sorts of things that you can have a go at but just you really really get more interesting um, shapes and things if you have a go at drawing with objects that you wouldn't normally draw with rather than just drawing with your pen, your pencil or your brush. And we can see here now the way that these colours are developing where the ink's going into the paint and you've got these little veins that weren't really intentional, they're just being made by the materials there. So you'll find if you just play and have some fun and mess about really with things, you're going to find these um, unintentional, nice impressionistic paintings that you can make. Just look at the colour there, it's absolutely gorgeous. And when it's dried, if I feel it needs more drawing on top, I can always do that as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments before. And like I said earlier, I have got more up on Skillshare now, much longer in-depth tutorials. So if you did want to take a look at those, I will link them in the description below. In the meantime, um, enjoy your painting and drawing. Have fun with it. Get every, all your materials out. Have a go at mixed media and making some nice shapes and forms of these feathers. Thanks for watching and bye for now.